Hello everyone, back at the bench once again with the Bosch VE pump off my first gen Cummins diesel. I'm just about to put the pump top back onto the truck. And uh, what I'm about to do, you can obviously do in the truck, you don't have to take the pump off for this, but um, while I have it here in good lighting, I thought I'd do a video of it. The last thing I'm going to do is turn the star wheel up a little bit, and that's this gear looking thing over here. <clears throat> uh, what the star wheel does, it, it's, a, it's a rest for the AFC spring, and this spring is what pushes against the, the fuel pin and diaphragm and allows it to move up and down. And when you turn the star wheel up or down, you adjust the amount of preload on that spring. So you need, as a result, you would need either more or less, less boost pressure to push down on that diaphragm against the spring. And when you turn the star wheel up, in other words, turn it counterclockwise, that increases the preload on the spring, which, as a result, requires you to have more boost pressure to push the fuel pin down, which, as a result, um, it reduces smoke because you're getting more boost before you introduce more fuel. And I've read it will also help spool your turbo faster because you're not flooding the engine with too much fuel and making lots of black smoke and just, you know, making a mess of things. So it's always important to make note of where you started off. And I, I know this is a stock pump. No one's ever messed with it. Uh, the paint was all intact, all everything with the, the safety caps were intact. So I know this is a clean slate. So I'm going to take a Sharpie. And I'm going to make a mark on the housing and on the star wheel itself see if i can get a thinner sharpie to get down in there make a nice a nice mark as many places as i can in case the mark gets worn off through uh usage or something of course it's not going to get worn off there or right here but maybe right down there where I'm drawing where the spring where the spring sits I think it's good enough so that's our zero point and using some sort of a a pointy tool this might work I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise um, from what I've heard online you should verify this yourself and I might verify it after the video as well um, Firstly, it's, it's, it's very individual. Each pump and each motor is a little bit different, so your settings will be a little bit different. And after you make your initial settings, you should test drive it and make adjustments on that. This is just, this is like on a, on a carburetor. You, you rebuild it, and then you put in the, fuels, the, uh, the, the fuel jet screw, and you back it out one and a half turns as an initial setting. You run your engine, and then you mess with that a little further to fine-tune it. So this is the same thing. I believe... You want to back this out two turns is the general consensus of how to um, how much to turn it and I have read or heard of people backing this screw the star wheel rather all the way up to the top here the top of this threaded piece and also I've heard of people taking it all the way out and flipping it upside down because there's no groove in here and this groove is where the spring sits and if there's no groove, the spring will sit higher, <coughs> higher, and it will compress the spring even more. But I'm guessing that's that might be coming from people with uh, maybe twin turbos or a turbo pushing 50, 60 pounds of boost or something like that. Total guess, but I um, I would imagine that would be the case because that's that's a lot of spring compression there. So I'm gonna back this off. Two turns. There's a half. Go slowly and keep track of what you're doing. There's one turn.
whoops, and there is two turns. And I don't think I've heard anybody suggest this before, but I think it's a good idea. I'm going to write in here two turns up and today's date uh, well I don't know what it is January 2015 January 15 And so, you know, there's always a chance that I'll forget what I did. And uh, I can reference back rather than having a sheet of paper lying around somewhere. Always keep notes when you're doing stuff. I have some notes of alignments and positions and measurements and stuff. But this piece of paper, I can lose it. But you can't lose that because that's going to be on the truck. And if I adjust it further, I'll use some carburetor cleaner and wipe it off and and uh, rewrite it. So that's the that's the last adjustment, uh, bench top adjustment of this pump that I'm going to make. The next step is it's this is going to have to go on the truck and the truck will be run and it'll be driven around and I'll make my further adjustments. Although if you're waiting for those videos it'll be a while because I'm doing some other work to the truck as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and go on to my first gen Cummins playlist and check out all my other videos of of improvements I've made to this injection pump and also some other uh, modifications I've, I've been doing uh, and so thanks for watching leave a comment and as always come back for more